Hello, welcome to BBC World News. Interior ministers from three European countries are meeting in Paris to decide how to tackle the growing migrant crisis in the Mediterranean. Italy's become increasingly alarmed by a sharp rise in arrivals and wants other EU countries to open their ports. And there's concern the number of rescue boats is encouraging ever more people to make the perilous journey. David Campanali reports. Night. Morning. Day. Over the long hours of the Mediterranean summer, migrants cram into boats as they venture from Libya towards Europe's most accessible border, Italy. The numbers are unimaginable and the risks are high. The work of just this one volunteer agency dedicated to rescuing migrants reveals the fear, desperation and hope that drives people on. They flee failed states, persecution, hunger and war. All seek a fresh start, a better life. Italy has taken over 12,000 migrants in the past week alone. It says without greater help, it will close its ports to fresh arrivals. It's not possible not to understand that something is not working if we have vessels coming from all European countries, flying various European flags, sailing in the Mediterranean Sea, which rightly rescue human lives, and nevertheless, the only ports where these rescued lives are brought to are Italian ports. It's to France that migrant boats could be sent to land. As Paris hosts a mini-summit of key European leaders to discuss the crisis, its own citizens have the streets to remind them of the challenges of migrant settlement and integration. Redistributing migrants around European Union members is the approach backed by the UNHCR. But Eastern EU states are saying no. We did not exploit those countries from which the refugees come to Europe today. We did not exploit their labor force and finally, we did not call them to come to Europe. We have a full moral right to say no. Hungary has already blocked the Balkan route into Europe. It wants economic migrants transported out of the continent. And it's calling for what it calls the line of defense to be pushed all the way to Libya and from there towards Libya's southern border. David Campanali, BBC News. Well, we can now speak to German member of the European Parliament, Arne Lietz. He's in Wittenberg. Welcome to you. I wonder, first of all, what you think uh, of the Italian government's claim that the presence of rescue boats is actually acting as a pull factor and could be making things worse. Well, I totally disagree that um, there is any way uh, wording for a pull factor. This is a humanitarian uh, situation. We have to act as a European Union. And therefore, it's a humanitarian crisis, and uh, it's not a question of pull factor. The pull factors are different ones, or this, the factor why people are actually on the go. We have to deal with that. Um, and I see it as an outcry from the Italian government, as uh, your report has shown, that uh, the European solidarity doesn't go as far. Uh, we leave it to the shore countries and the southern, uh, south uh, European uh, situations. And therefore, Europe has to show more solidarity. We have to open more harbors, but also the distribution of the refugees should be European-wide and not only uh, the situation as it stays now and most of the refugees come to Italy. Yeah, I'm wondering when you see that the Eastern EU states are continuing to say no to this sort of redistribution, what do you do about that? There is no unity and there continues to be no unity. Well, Europe is... Uh, a a whole club of uh, solidarity and uh, the redistribution was also uh, very weak and countries even uh, now uh, question the European Union and uh, suing them as they don't want to take any refugees. That is not a situation which could continue as it is, but besides that, it's also a question of looking at the root causes of migration. The Eastern European countries don't give any uh, real substance on uh, development aid to other countries. And also, as we have had made this mistake on the Syrian refugees, so the Syrian refugees which have been in the border countries around Syria, we have uh, many, many refugees, millions in African neighborhood countries, and we shouldn't make the same mistake again. We should support these countries 
in order to support them to host their refugees from their neighborhood countries in order to keep them uh, in the situation to come back to their land if hopefully peace uh, comes back to their situation. And therefore, I call up uh, to the Eastern European countries to also financially support uh, the refugee situations as Africa, by all means, is our European neighborhood. And so we cannot look away and uh, cannot also keep the situation as it's worrying in uh, Libya as well. Alma Litz, I'm afraid we have uh, run out of time. Thank you very much, a German politician and a member of the European Parliament.